Well, you guys, I'm going to read a story today. So we've been talking about family and respect. So I have a story I'm going to share with you today about family. But first, let's check to make sure our bodies are ready for this. Going to wab on done. Your eyes are watching. Isn't done. Your ears are listening. Is on a bin. Our bodies are calm. Gego do not can gigu. Our hands are to ourselves. Is on on. Our lips are set. All right. So our hands, our feet, our eyes and ears are ready, and our body is calm. All right. So we're ready for our story. Is your mama a llama? And the author is Deborah Guerno. And the author is the person that writes the words in our story. And the illustrator is Stephen Kellogg. And the illustrator is the one that writes the pictures in our story. They work together as a team to make a book. Is your mama a llama? Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Dave. No, she is not, is the answer. Dave gave. You see Dave right there? Who's his mom? She hangs, my mom hangs by her feet and she lives in a cave. I do not believe that's how llamas behave. Oh, I said, you are right about that. I think your mama sounds more like a bat. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Fred. No, she is not, is what Fred said. She, my mama has a long neck and white feathers and wings. I don't think a llama has all of those things. Oh, I said, you don't need to go on. I think maybe your mama must be a swan. And he kept going. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Jane. No, she is not, Jane politely explained. My mama grazes on grass and she likes to say moo. I don't think that is what a llama would do. Oh, I said, I understand now. I think your mama must be a cow, a bishiki. Then he went, kept going, is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Clyde. No, she is not, is how Clyde replied. There we go. Bonjour, glad you could join us. I'm just finishing up, I'm reading my story. My mom has got flippers and whiskers and eats fish all day. I do not think llamas act quite that way. Oh, I said, I'm beginning to feel that your mama must really be a seal. So she kept going on. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Rhonda, kind of sitting way up there. No, she is not, is how Rhonda responded. My mama's got big hind legs and a pocket for me. So I don't think a llama is what she could be. Oh, I said, that is certainly true. I think your mama is a kangaroo. And she kept going, is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Lynn. Oh Lloyd, don't be silly. Lynn said with a grin. My mama has big ears, long lashes, and you of all people should know about her. Our mama belong to the same herd, and you know all about llamas, because you are one too. Yes, you are right, I said to my friend. My mama's a llama, and this is the end. Meet you. All right, my friends. So 
we talked about family. And so who in this family was she, your llama looking for? Do you remember? The, mama, the llama was looking for his mama. And so he had visited quite a few different animal friends before he found his mama. All right, I'm gonna give you guys some time to get a drink, use the bathroom before we start morning or closing circle.